Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 12th. It's the third week in Lent. And today we also celebrate the life and ministry of Gregory the Great, Bishop of Rome. The scripture for this service, Psalm 86, and John chapter 8, verse 21 to 32. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. Psalm 86, and please join me in reciting it together. Bend your ear, my God, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save your servant that trusts in you. Be merciful to me, I cry to you daily. Rejoice the soul of your servant. To you do I lift up my life. For you are good and ready to forgive, and merciful to all that call on you. Give ear to my prayer, O beloved, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I call on you, and you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, and neither are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, and shall glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, and I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart with yours, that I may fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered me from the deepest hell. The proud have risen against me. The assemblies of the violent have sought my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you are a God full of compassion, gracious, long-suffering, merciful, and justice, truthful. Turn to me and have mercy. Give me your strength and save me. Show me a sign of your goodness, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you have helped me and comforted me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 8, beginning at verse 21. Again, Jesus said to them, I am going away, and you will search for me. But you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is true, 
and I declare to the world that I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. And so Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own. But I speak these things as the Father instructed me, and the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort us and help us, O beloved God. Teach us your ways that we may walk in your truth. And in your tender mercy, save us by your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit.